Okay, I'm gonna redo this video because I was told that uh, the first version wasn't any good, so that's good. I'm not a video guy. Uh, if you wanna know what I do for a living, you can find me on LinkedIn.com. Uh, there's very few David Beerworths in the world, probably about a dozen, so you should be able to find me. But I'm gonna redo the video. <clears throat> um, talk about bike fit. Uh, this is my mountain bike. It's a large uh, 27.5 plus. Uh, I bought it a few years ago because the fact I'm big. Uh, bicycles are bicycles. Um, but when you start dealing with larger people like myself, uh, one thing a lot of people don't realize is that their warranties on a lot of these bicycles will not cover somebody as big as I am. So if I break an axle, tear up a wheel, uh, if there's some sort of a defect that's, that's uh, um, a manufacturer's defect or not, they won't cover it because I weigh too much. Um, I think most companies break points around 240 pounds. So if you're gonna have a bicycle and you weigh over 240 pounds, which I do, lost 10 pounds, but I still weigh like 290, you better buy something heavy duty, uh, heavier than what these guys running around, their carbon fibers and stuff, because they're they're 140 pounds, so, you know, five foot six, nothing against people who are small, but that, that those bikes are, will handle their weight. If I got on a bike like that, I'd have it, it would be destroyed probably by within a week because the wheels would come out of true. Um, you bend axles or break axles. I mean, things would happen. Um, so buy, buy, if you're a big guy like me, buy big, heavy duty. So I buy a 27 and a half plus mountain bike. What I'm talking about is the type of wheel diameter. It has nothing to do with the frame size. Frame size is this is an extra large because I'm big, six foot three. But it's the, it's the deal with the, with the tire tire size is a plus 27 and a half is the wheel diameter you can buy 26s maybe that was the first generation mountain bikes the 29s i have a 29 in here and my son from six foot four inch son rides but he's probably too it's probably too small for him now um he's kind of on the other end of the scale he's a marine now he's 220 pounds six foot four but he's got a rule on he's got kind of a normal body physique which i don't have a real tall torso so it's got to fit you. I mean, you can buy you can buy a, a mountain bike or a mountain li bike like bike at Walmart or or, or maybe Target. Um, the uh, bike shops will have uh, price point bikes, so it'll be in the three to four to five hundred dollar range. Um, but just like I said earlier in the earlier video, videos, uh, fit um, cost is whatever you want to spend. I mean, you can have a hand built mountain bike cost ten thousand dollars <coughs> or more. So just want to talk about fit. Uh, one of the things you want, always want to look for from, from the basic perspective, and I can see the bike a little better, is being able to straddle the top two. You've got to be able to straddle the top two. If you can't straddle the top two comfortably without putting any pressure on you, um, uh, that's ideal. If it's putting pressure against you, the bike is too big. Uh, this bike is almost too big for me, even though I have a real long torso. But you don't want it too short. If it gets too short, you know, the, the bike will inc incrementally become smaller as they get smaller in size, the frame gets smaller, the, the geometry starts to shrink this way. Um, the first mountain bike I ever had I bought in the 80s, not knowing anything about mountain bikes because that's about the time they came out, and I bought a real small mountain bike that was used and rode it. Um, at the time I was you know, six foot three and 180 pounds, so it was almost 100 pounds lighter than I am now. And I kept, uh, it, it seemed to fit all right, but at the time, mountain bikes were unheard of. <laughs> you couldn't even buy one like it made in a bike shop. Um, the problem with being too small and too short is that every time I get hit a rock, I get thrown over the handlebars, and it happened a lot. Now they come in different sizes, so uh, not too small, but not too tall. You gotta be able to, you gotta be able to get off the bike, put your feet on the ground, and, and stand there comfortably. It's true with road bikes too, you don't want a road bike to be too big or too small. So keep that in mind when you're buying your bike. Um, little kids doesn't really matter. It's more a matter of just being able to, again, they have to be able to just stand over the top too. But um, people reference wheel size when they start talking about kids' bikes 18 inch wheel, 20 inch wheel, 24 inch wheel. Um, once you get above 24 inch wheels, you start dealing with frame sizes because the wheel sizes are consistently, you know, they'll be, they'll be all be 29. And a lot of it's, it's minutia in that regard. So, uh, road bikes, mountain bikes. Uh, BMX bikes are a different kind of a deal. They're normally 24 inch, maybe 26 inch wheels. Um, 
the way they're ridden, they're not really ridden in a traditional sense as far as like fitness where you go out and ride 10 miles. You might ride down the skate park and go and do uh, um, oh wait, it's things that you use on a skate park, ramps and jumps, stuff like that. Then you, you know, ride back, but you don't really sit on a BMX bike and hammer out 20 miles. Mountain bike, um, of course, you know, if you're out in the mountains, and they, they, the thought process with mountain biking is if you're, if you're out mountain biking, every mile you ride mountain biking is like riding three miles on the road. So that's the conversion. So you can ride 10 miles on a mountain bike and have the equivalent of about a 30 mile bike road ride, which is true because a lot of times you ride 10 miles on a mountain bike and you're whooped and you're just really tired. But um, I just wanted to talk about fit. Um, the earlier video I did, you can really see the bicycle that well. Hopefully this is better. This is my mountain bike. I could bring my could bring my road bike over and show you that too. Let me, let me grab that real quick. Again, gotta be able to show the top too. In this case, it fits real nice. Um, this bicycle is a tad bit small for my size, but I've made, I've made some accommodations uh, through handlebars and stem length and all that kind of stuff where you really want to make sure it fits in the very beginning. You won't be comfortable if it's not. Uh, you'll uh, be unsafe. But uh, again, it fits the top tube. Uh, and it'll straddle, no, no problem. That's one of the big things, like when you're, when you're out looking for a bike at a bike shop or at, uh, you do go to Walmart or Target, um, Make sure you can straddle the top tube. Uh, don't buy a bike that's too big. Um, and 